Cooked versus uncooked crushed rice. So, which one attracts more worms faster? What if I told you that the rice sitting in your kitchen could supercharge your soil and trigger a worm explosion you've never seen before? Cooked or uncooked, one of these two can turn your soil into a living, breathing ecosystem almost overnight. Let's find out which one wins. We know worms are the lifeblood of fertile soil. They aerate, break down organic matter, and enrich the earth with castings that act as natural fertilizer. But here's the real question. Can something as simple as crushed rice, cooked or uncooked, be the secret to multiplying worm populations faster than any compost trick you've ever tried? To answer that, we designed an experiment that removes all guesswork. Two identical soil bins, same moisture, same baseline fertility, same environmental conditions. The only difference? One bin gets cooked crushed rice, the other gets uncooked crushed rice. This is where things get interesting. The first step is preparation. For the uncooked rice, we took ordinary white grains, crushed them into smaller pieces to speed up microbial activity, and left them dry. For the cooked rice, we used the same crushed batch, but boiled it using a 1 to 2 ratio, 1 part rice to 2 parts water. This ensures every grain softens fully, creating a sticky, starch-rich material that microbes and worms can easily feed on. The goal here is consistency. Both bins received equal weights of rice, 100 grams each, so that the results would be purely based on how worms respond to cooked versus uncooked conditions. Why crushed rice? Smaller particle size increases the surface area available for microbial colonization, which is what worms ultimately chase. Cooked and uncooked rice differ in one crucial way, accessibility. Cooked rice breaks down faster because its starch molecules are gelatinized, while uncooked rice is harder, forcing microbes to work longer before it decomposes. This difference sets the stage for the worm showdown. After applying the rice, we monitored changes closely. The uncooked crushed rice stayed mostly intact during the first week, barely softening, while the cooked crushed rice began showing microbial fuzz, white colonies spreading across the surface. That's the earliest sign that microbes are working, releasing smells and signals that worms can't resist. By the end of week two, worms in the cooked rice bin were already clustering beneath the feeding zone, drawn by the microbial party happening at the surface. Meanwhile, in the uncooked rice bin, Worms showed only mild activity, still testing the harder fragments but not gathering in the same numbers. At this stage, it looked like cooked rice had an early lead. Now comes the dramatic reveal. By the third and fourth week, differences were undeniable. When we sifted through the soil, the cooked rice bin showed a massive increase in worm clusters. The soil was darker, moister, and better aggregated. Worms had clearly multiplied, feeding heavily on both the decomposing rice and the microbes thriving in it. In the uncooked rice bin, decomposition was happening, but much more slowly. Worms were present, but they were scattered rather than concentrated. The soil structure looked healthier than the control baseline, but nowhere near as transformed as the cooked rice bin. What this tells us is simple. Cooked rice accelerates microbial activity, which in turn accelerates worm activity. Worms don't eat rice directly. They feed on the microbial life that breaks it down. Since cooking rice opens up starches and sugars for quicker microbial access, worms are essentially handed a buffet earlier, and they respond by reproducing faster. So why does cooked crushed rice dominate? Well, it all comes down to biochemistry. Uncooked rice is packed with resistant starch, meaning it takes a long time for soil microbes to break it down. It's kind of like putting a hard biscuit in the ground. Worms will eventually benefit, but not immediately. Cooked rice, on the other hand, undergoes gelatinization. Its starch molecules swell and unravel, making it soft, sticky, and water-absorbent. This structure gives bacteria and fungi immediate access to sugars, igniting a microbial bloom. Worms sense this bloom and rush in to feed, multiply, and aerate. The result? Faster worm population growth, quicker soil aggregation, and a more immediate improvement in soil fertility.
At the end of our experiment, the conclusion was clear. Cooked crushed rice attracts more worms faster than uncooked crushed rice. If your goal is to jumpstart worm activity in your soil, cooked rice is the winner every single time. But here's the hack every gardener should know. Don't overdo it. Rice, especially cooked, can go anaerobic if applied in large clumps. The trick is to use thin, even layers and keep your soil well aerated. A handful of cooked crushed rice per square foot, lightly covered with soil or organic mulch, is more than enough to spark a worm frenzy without creating sour patches. For uncooked rice lovers, don't throw it out. It still works, but think of it as a slow-release worm food. While cooked rice drives a rapid worm explosion, uncooked rice provides longer-term feeding, breaking down gradually over months. The smartest gardeners combine both methods, cooked rice for an immediate boost, uncooked rice for sustained soil health. So there you have it. Two identical soil bins, one experiment, one clear winner. Cooked crushed rice is the secret to a faster, stronger worm population, while uncooked crushed rice plays the long game. Both have their place in a gardener's toolkit, but if you're chasing quick results and a visible transformation in your soil, cooked is the way to go. If you want thriving, living soil that practically grows food for you, try this experiment at home. Watch your worms multiply, watch your soil darken, and watch your crops respond with explosive growth. If this video gave you a new way of looking at something as simple as rice, just imagine what else we'll uncover together. Don't just keep this secret to yourself. Subscribe to Soil and Crops Central, share this with fellow gardeners, and let's build a community that knows how to turn everyday kitchen scraps into soil gold. Your worms and your crops will thank you.